Meet her by talking in old, Murphy Godfather style. Enlightened chat about her was the situation. All right, gather round folks. Let me tell you something about our pal was here. He's been in quite the pickle lately, with rumours flying around about his sock culture making him turn into some sort of golem creature. And then there's talk of Cthulhu being summoned, just cause he can't carry tune for nothing. Now ain't that a scandal. But shh, don't let him hear us giggling over it. Oh hum, looks like we have a prankster in our midst. Comic Sans? Really now, that's a rather bold choice ain't it? But who am I to judge? Let's roll with it and see how the audience reacts, shall we? Matus King DD, a real king or did he put on a crown on day and start of calling himself one? Ah, Krogo, always questioning authority. Well, technically, yes, DDD did take up the title after crowning himself king of Dreamland. But doesn't that make him even more interesting? A self-made monarch, ruling over his own kingdom. Now that's something I can get behind. Wingdings. Oh dear, this could get confusing fast. But then again, isn't confusion half the fun sometimes? Alright then, viewers, get ready for some adventurous reading as we dive into this new font style together. Alright then, here goes. Remember, folks. Life might throw some ink blots your way now and then, but it's how you handle those blotches that truly matters. Embrace the messiness and turn it into art instead. Diggles. Meta, what was Wingdings actually made more? Now that's an intriguing question, isn't it? Some say it originated from ancient scripts, meant for secret societies, while others believe it's simply gibberish. By the way, ain't it fascinating how such a quirky font can spark so much debate? Mate, if Dudu simply became king because he wanted so, how come the Dreamland folk accept his reign? Ah, Pomba Mondak with the deep analysis. Well, maybe they appreciated his flamboyant style, or perhaps he had some dirt on them. By the way, it surely makes for an enthralling tale, doesn't it? Today's game is all about merging. Did you know octopuses can squeeze through tiny spaces thanks to their flexible bodies? It's like watching them merge into new forms. Fascinating creatures indeed. Mate, do you know the lore for Kirby's Triple Deluxe? Of course I do. It's a mesmerizing melody that draws players in light moss to a flame. Or should I say Kirby's to Dreamland? Either way, who wouldn't want to indulge in such delightful adventures? Mate, I think it's because DDD would clover them otherwise. Oh, Crow, go. You're onto something there. King Daddy's brute strength and imposing presence might just be the reason why everyone plays nice. Or else face is rough. How thrilling. Mate, what are your sensational plans on Subathon and everything a was will have to fulfill? Oh, Chiver Punch, you're in for a treat. During the Subathon, we'll have gains galore, special guests dropping by and even some cheeky surprises up our sleeves. Stay tuned. Alright then, how about this? The world's largest snowflake on record was 15 inches wide. 